Hey guys, Chloe here. So today we'll be opening up a couple of Nendoroids, a couple of scale figures, as well as a handful of merch. So let's just get right into it. So first up, we have two acrylic stands of Takina and Chisato from Nikorisu Recoil, which is a show that I really enjoyed. So of course I had to pick up some merch. At first, I thought Takina would be my favorite character from the show just because I tend to gravitate towards characters like her. But the more I watched, the more I started really liking Chisato. She's just such a great character and I love her personality and character and she's just so funny. But I do really love them both. So like once their like figure prototypes start getting painted, I already know I'm going to be like buying them in pairs just so you know they're together so please pray for my wallet <laughs> and because i enjoyed this show so much and wanted more merch i bought this random teacup <laughs> it's only like 900 yen which is like six dollars so it's not that bad for merch um and it is really cute i really like the design of it and it's a lot bigger than i thought it would be which is kind of nice um i probably won't be using it to drink tea or anything so I'm probably gonna use it for like decoration. But yeah, really neat cup. <laughs> Next up, we have an acrylic stand of My Happy Marriage, which I am really looking forward to. The anime is coming out, I think really soon. And it's by the same studio that did Revy Starlight, which is one of my favorite series. So really looking forward to this. I basically just binged a manga when they announced a voice cast for this anime and I fell in love with the art. It was so gorgeous and when I saw there was merch of it, I had to pick it up and I'm really glad I did because it's so beautiful. I highly doubt this would get figures so a small acrylic stand is a nice alternative. And our last piece of merch is the standee slash memo holder from 86, which is an anime that destroyed me. I absolutely enjoy this show so much. Um, but unfortunately, the merch selection isn't really for me. I don't really like any of the figures other than the one Lena Nendoroid. But when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it because it's a drawing from Theo, one of the characters from the show who I really like. And I don't know, seeing this drawing from him in this standee form, it was just so cute and I thought it was really funny. So pick this one up and it is like a memo holder. So it has this clip on the back that you can just kind of clip whatever you want and it'll hold it up. So, you know, it's a useful piece of merch to hold up your notes or your fan arts and yeah, really neat, very useful. Anyway, watch 86 is really good. <laughs> Moving on to Nendoroids, we have two here. We have Lumine and Aether from Genshin Impact. Their boxes are actually really pretty and unique, which I really like. It's really cute. I like it. But even cuter than the boxes are the Nendoroids themselves. So I did mention before, like a while back, that I was thinking of canceling Aether just because I didn't like his accessories that much. And Lumine was my traveler of choice in the game. So I didn't really have that much of an attachment towards Aether, but I'm really glad that I ended up getting him in the end because I definitely would have regretted not getting both of them. Partly because of my collector mindset, which is really bad by the way, <laughs> but I can't separate them. I can't do that to them, you know? But enough about Aether, let's talk about Lumine. My girl, such a cutie. Like Aether, she came out really nicely as well. The sculpt and the painting is really nice. Honestly, I only prefer Lumine just because I see her more often since I picked her as my traveler, but also because her selection of accessories, mainly the wind glider because they have the same sword. Hers is prettier than what Aether got, but at the same time, it does match him more aesthetically. But the Nendoroid itself is really cute, so I guess it's fine. One issue that I did have with the Nendoroids, and it might really just be a me problem being terrible with Nendoroids, is that their joints are really stiff. <laughs> so they look really weird posed like this, but I have seen photos of them where their arms are like properly posed and they're like spreading their arms like they're gliding. 
but I can't do that with mine. I will probably loosen them over time, but for now I'm just gonna keep them like this, um, even though they do look kind of weird. But again, it's probably just a me problem. <laughs> but yeah, very cute Nendoroids. Would highly recommend them. Okay, so next up we have another Nendoroid. This is the Raiden Mei Nendoroid, the Lightning Empress version from Honkai. So this one I actually picked up from Ami Ami pre-owned and for some reason the blisters like really loose in the box and I don't think this has ever happened so I'm kind of concerned about that. <laughs> um, okay so like the blister is all like melted or like shrunk which was why it was rattling inside but the actual pieces and the nendroid look fine so hopefully it is fine <laughs> okay so i'm happy to report that she is perfectly fine she is in 100 amazing condition just like new or she is new i got this in ab condition from pre-owned and if i'm being honest this is probably like one of my least favorite designs out of like the entire game <laughs> But the main reason I got her is one, she is May, and two, I just really wanted the the Hersher faceplate. I love it so much that I can like ignore how terrible her outfit is. <laughs> like no offense if you like it, but there's just there's just so much going on and I can't. But I really do like her like mask, her headpiece. I like that though. That one's cool. And also her weapon's pretty cool too, so. Yeah, overall great Nandoroid. <laughs> but just a warning that this green heart piece that she has is really tiny and it's really easy to lose. I almost lost it like twice and yeah, so just something to keep in mind if you do pick this up. All right, so moving on to our first scale figure, we have the 1-7 scale Saotome Mary from Kakegurui by Maithos. So this figure is, I feel like, you either love it or you're disappointed in it um just based on what i've seen online by people who have her personally i don't think she looks bad from the photos i saw so i am really excited to open her up and see if she does live up to my expectations all right so here she is this is sao tome mary by my ethos so I picked her up from Ami Ami for about 12,500 yen, which was like 80 some dollars, definitely under a hundred dollars, which I feel like is a really good price for a figure nowadays. And honestly, that's like a steal for this figure. I think it looks great. Um, details on it are great, the sculpt, the painting. I can see why people were kind of disappointed with it because you do have to like have her angled a certain way i'm personally gonna display her as is like just facing front or maybe like slightly angled towards the right because i feel like that's the best view for me um but quality wise she is pretty much perfect there is one tiny flaw that i found which is this small spot here behind the card where i guess excess glue leaked out and it doesn't bother me too much but it is kind of disappointing to see but yeah so that's that everything else though is pretty much fine i love how they did the skirt it looks so good um definitely one of the better ones i've seen in terms of like plaid skirt patterns really nice i love it Overall, a really great figure, and also look at that hair sculpt, it is so nice, I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, for like 12,000 yen, I feel like this is such a good price for her, especially because the yen is so weak. It's like under $90, which is such a steal. Yeah, really love this figure, glad I picked it up. Alright, so we had Mary, who was on the more affordable side of scale figures. And now we have the 1-7 scaled Yukino and Yui figure by Eastream, who are on the more expensive side. So originally I didn't plan on getting this, but 
I ended up canceling my crystal dress Amelia, the red version, because I already have the original one. And I thought it was kind of silly to get another one of the same exact figure, but just like a little different. So I ended up canceling that and I was binging Snafu at the time and I ended up really enjoying it. So I just used the credit I got back from my cancellation and put it towards this. But yeah, that's just like a really quick backstory on why I got this figure, I guess. But yeah, let's just check out the figure itself. Okay, so here they are fully assembled. This is Yukino and Yui from Snafu by Eastream. And this is a 1 7 scale figure. So I got them off Tom for around $200 after getting credit back from my cancellation, as well as using some coupons. But it does go for around 40,000 yen on Ami Ami and around 350 USD on Tom, like regular price. So it is. A pretty expensive figure and honestly there's like a lot of options you have for these characters so if you wanted a figure of them you have cheaper options i personally really like the kotobukiya ones but the only reason why i didn't get those is because i saw this one and i really like this one and i don't really want multiple figures of them so i went with this one instead despite being more expensive and also, I just really liked the base for this figure. I think it's cute. I love the whole beach design of it. And the water is kind of interesting. It's kind of like pearlescent, which it does look really nice when you reflect light on it though. I like it. Also, look at their shoes. It's so nice. It's so shiny and it looks pretty realistic. I really like it. One thing I do wish that was a bit different is their bags. It's really nicely detailed and I really like it, but I do wish they had dedicated spots on the base. Um, as is, you just kind of place them wherever. There's no pegs and it's not magnetic, so not a big deal, but it would have been nice. But moving on from the base, let's talk about the actual figures of Yukino and Yui. I think that they pretty much nailed their faces for both Yukino and Yui. Like they came out great and they look great and I'm pretty happy with that. But I did have some issues with like their uniform, mainly on their skirt. Like I don't know how to describe it really, but it's kind of like when you put something like tape under wherever you're painting and then you paint over that and then you just kind of forget to like remove that tape it's kind of like that <laughs> so it's like there's like these raised patches on the skirt it's more visible on Yukino's skirt but it is also present on Yui's and I feel like I'm just like hyper focusing on this one issue a lot more because um, I just opened the Mary figure and that one is like so much cheaper than this one and that skirt came out like perfect. But yeah, that's pretty much the only issue that I found with the figure. Everything else seems great. It looks amazing. I love their face and their sculpt. Um, painting is great as well. I will say though that putting Yui's arm around Yukino was really annoying. Um, <laughs> it was a lot harder than I thought it'd be, but you know what? It's 100% worth it. The pose is so cute and it definitely makes the figure for me. Personally, I don't think I would pick them up at their retail price. So I'm really glad that I had like extra points and coupons and credit to put towards this figure and get them at a lower price. Um, because I do think that this is their best figure, like for me personally, I don't really like any of their other ones other than the Kotobukiya ones. So yeah, I'm really glad that I able to add them to my collection. Alright, so that's it for this video. We opened up a couple of figures that I have been looking forward to for a long time now, as well as a lot of pretty merch from animes that I've enjoyed recently, and of course some Nendoroids from Genshin and Honkai. I promise I will be working on loosening up their joints. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!